everyone! Today I'm going to be giving my guinea pigs a bath so I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a video showing you how I do it and also what products I use. For their bath, firstly I'm going to set up their playpen in the bathroom and then tell you a bit more about giving guinea pigs baths in general. So here we are in the bathroom and as you can see I've put their playpen up, given them some hideys and also brought out their litter trays and filled them with hay so hopefully there won't be too much mess on my bathroom floor. So first things first, they rarely need a bath and it's really up to the owner whether they choose to bath them or not and it's not going to do them any harm if they're never bathed at all in their lives. However, you can bath them too much and um, it's not recommended that you do it any more often than once every three months because it can remove the natural oils in their skin which can dry it out and irritate it. Also bathing can be a, quite a stressful experience so if you have a guinea pig that absolutely hates baths and never really gets too dirty then it's completely fine not to bath them. Next is what you need and here I've just got one of those normal washing up bowls like that, what you get to put in your sink. Here I've got the shampoos, which I'll talk about in a minute, and this little one. And then I have a measuring jug to tip over them, and then lots and lots of towels, big pile of towels here. I don't bother washing the towels because these are the same ones that I use to line the cages, so I just let them dry after I've used them to dry the guinea pigs, and then I can they'll get a wash next time they've been on the bottom of the cage. The running water scared them, so uh, <laughs> they've kind of shoved themselves inside the hidey, except for Lola. Um, I was going to get Sprite first, uh, but I might actually go for Lola. She'll probably sit nicer as well for you guys to see. So I'm just going to lower her in, and uh, there she goes. She's just kind of a... Uh, She's very good is Lola, but I say that, but... So first thing you do is just wet the hair. You don't want to get any anywhere near their eyes or their ears, because, well, for starts they really won't like it, and um, it might not be the best for them to get it in their eyes and ears, will it? Oh, you're so cute. You're being very good. So now with the nice and easy, you don't have to mix it with water like you do with some of the shampoos so I'm just going to get a bit on my hand and coat it on her on her hair whoops it's quite runny there we go so now the shampoo's on I'm just going to give her gentle wash all over the main areas for Lola is around her bum because she has a nasty habit of sitting in her own wee which is just lovely. You'll find actually when you're giving them baths they'll calm down a lot if you just like lift them out of the water slightly because they don't like being in the water and that's what kind of causes them to stress out a bit. So if they are getting very stressed it does help to just lift them out of the water and um, kind of just hold them a bit. Lola's not overly stressed but well she is but she's not struggling as such but again we're not going to go anywhere near her eyes or her face I mean it doesn't matter if that hair is never washed that's not the uh, place where it's going to get dirtiest anyway you're such a little cutie aren't you you're such oh don't squeak at me and you might often find they're just they're happier just with your uh, with your hand to sit on even calms them down a lot being not completely all four paws in the water so if she wants to sit on my hand like that then I'm just going to let her because if I take it away she'll just stress out with the water again I'm doing it from behind and I'm doing it in a controlled way so I can see that it's not going to be going up past her ears but what I am going to do now is just change the water because um, it's pretty saturated with the shampoo and it's not going to rinse out properly if I just carry on as I am. Just a 
bobber in and then rinse the rest of this off. You want it to be like when you're washing your own hair and you can feel when all the conditioners come out. You want it to be like that. I probably go a bit overboard because I'm a bit paranoid about rinsing it all out but it's best to be like that than um, ha leave any kind of residue on there. For and if you've got long haired piggies this is a good time to just um, have a feel around the bum and see if you can feel any mats because the hair will obviously kind of move out the way easier as it's wet. I can't actually feel any mats on Lola so that's good. She does get little ones around the back of her legs sometimes. The Heidi Hut's gone, you'll see. I had to take it away because they just wouldn't come out of it. <laughs> so I put them back in the cage in it and um, they came out. So here I've got Sprite and um, she's a bit more of a struggler so this might be my, might be more like what your own guinea pigs are like if you tried to give them a bath. Yeah, <laughs> it just soaked me. <laughs> I wasn't really on the ball then, was I? So I've just wet her a bit, I'm gonna get the sham gonna get the shampoo out and just wash her quickly around her bottom. As I said earlier, she doesn't need it as much as the others, so I don't have to be as thorough and um she gets more stressed out than the other two, so I'm just going to be very fast and try and get it over with. I'm getting soaked here. I don't mind though. I know you don't like it. Right, like I did before, I'm just going to change the water now because it's all soapy and not very nice. If you have a piggy like this, or if you have a pair of piggies like this, then I just wouldn't bother giving them a bath, to be honest, because it is very stressful for them. What might help is if you put them in together, they might be more calm if they're together. There, you're all done. You go get Annie now. What are you doing? You're going to jump on Lola? I've got Annie with me now, so I'm just going to wash her first with the nice and easy and then with the rest of the other one that I've got. Go. Whoa! Okay, that's what we call a leap. <laughs> and as you can see, that was really unexpected. So if they did do that, um, and when you were in doing them in the sink, then you can see how out of the blue it was, and that they could just easily be on end up on the floor because of something like that. So always be aware, even if you've bathed your pigs before and you're quite confident with doing it, that they can just leap unexpectedly like that. If you are worried that they're very scared then it helps to just go slowly and not be too vigorous with them. I was a bit like that with Sprite because that's the only way to get it done quickly with her. But with Annie and Lola if they are a bit scared then I tend to actually slow down and not try and get it over with quickly because um, it they kind of relax more when you do that. Look at her head! <laughs> so now I've just got some fresh water and I'm going to just use the rest of this what I've got. Um, this is the trial size ones um, which you can order just for I think they're just a few pounds and they've got 20 mil in them as opposed to the larger ones which have 100 mil upwards in them. Just feeling around Annie's back legs for some mats. And I can't feel any actually which is good because um, she did have some last time I gave her a bath. Uh, oh maybe she's got a little one there. So if you do generally just around the back legs is where they get them rather than like near the, more the middle of their bum. So um, if you do feel one then you can just um, remember to cut it off. So that's Annie all um, rinsed off now and I'm going to put her back in with the other two. It's nice and warm and dry in here so um, 
I will um, rub them with the towel a bit but um, in general they kind of dry off quite quickly in here. If you have guinea pigs that live outside then it's very important that you, they remain inside until they're completely dry because there is a danger that they might catch a chill or a cold. Well, they don't really get cold but respiratory infection um, from being put out in the cold just like we might get pneumonia or something if we're um, in the cold after we've been wet. So make sure your piggies are kept lovely and warm and dry. Sorry there, the camera just lost its battery so I couldn't really show you me drying them off with the towel. But basically just make sure that you don't rub them too hard. Um, well they'll let you know if you do anyway, they'll, have, they'll give you a little squeak. Um, you can also dry them by using a hairdryer. Which I don't really bother with that. If you do use a hairdryer make sure you have it on a cold, well yeah cold is setting and um, you don't put it too close to their skin because you still might burn them, they've got very um, delicate skin and also don't blow it in their face <laughs> obviously you don't want to hurt their eyes or anything. There we go so the piggies are back in their newly cleaned out cage. I've just put them in literally this second so um, I think you can hear Annie scuffling around and being the dominant one. Aren't you? Little miss. Look at that curly top. <laughs> so even though they're not completely dry um, I'm gonna leave them in here now and they'll, they're dry enough so that they'll be fine to just um, finish off drying on their own. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and please ask me if you've got any questions about bathing your guinea pig. What I was going to mention before is that you'll probably find that your guinea pigs seem to be shivering after you've given them a bath and this is more to do with it's kind of a vibrating rather than a shivering and it's not because they're cold necessarily it's because they um, didn't like the experience of having a bath basically and you might find that they do this in other situations like when you, you've handled them before or something like that. So that's entirely normal, I won't worry too much about that, it doesn't mean that they've caught a cold or got pneumonia or anything. So I'm going to leave you now and just say thank you for watching and that's goodbye from Sprite who's in there somewhere. Are you piggy, you're going to say goodbye? And then Miss Annie Curly <laughs> there, and then Lola. So goodbye everyone.